Hey gang, Jamie Aston. And uh, what we're about to do, by request, we're about to do an ice retention uh, test. And uh, the two coolers we're going to be using is my new Stanley 30 quart adventure cooler. And there are plenty of videos with the Pelican 35 quart, but we're going to do this one as well. Now, before we get started with this ice retention test, let's talk about ice retention. Um, I'm not going to say that this is the best method to do the ice retention test. There are a lot of variables you have to consider when you are trying to uh, keep your ice for a long time. And um, in any situation, a test given the best case scenario, let's say at your house, it's not the best test because it's not realistic. So what I'm going to do is try to try to factor in some variables because realistically you're not taking a cooler out and not using it. And some people are buying a cooler for, like I said, a day at the park, a, a, a week of camping. And the, the number of times that they are going to go inside their cooler varies. If you're going hunting and you're field dressing you just need to keep your meat you're probably not going in and out of your cooler. You're putting your meat in there, your meat in there, and you're leaving it. Whereas if you're taking it for camping or fishing, you're going in and out of it probably a little bit more. So what are we going to do about that? Next thing is a time of year. It's December, I think, 29th, uh, and it's been about 45 degrees here, and uh, so that's not the uh, best time to test a cooler is ice retention when most people are trying to use this in the summertime. So, how I'm going to counter that is I'm going to leave the coolers inside my home for the duration of these tests. I keep it around 69, 72, sometimes even going up to 80 in temperature. So, there's, we're going to get some temperature fluctu fluctuation there. Um, how many times am I going to open this cooler? For now, I think I'm only going to open it up twice. One time, uh, at, at least to check the temperature, and we're going to be checking the temperature using bottles of water. I have a P on this one for Pelican, and we have an S on this one for Stanley, and we have a digital th uh, thermometer. So we're not just going to test how much ice is in there or uh, and things like that we're actually going to also test the temperature of the environment how long will it keep the contents cold even after the ice is gone now what do you do with that melted ice a lot of situations uh, people like to keep the melted ice in the cooler uh, because that ice water is still ice cold so we're going to leave some, we're only going to drain off some of it every now and then. You will see that in the video whenever we do a drain off. Another thing about ice retention is when you're thinking about your cooler is you also have contents in there so we don't have this open space. I'm not filling these coolers up to the brim with ice because that's not realistic. But what is also not realistic is me not having contents as well as ice in here that will also keep the temperature. So that's going to be a variable that could uh, skew the test results. So I mean at the end of the day what I'm trying to say is this test is is going to take me a long time to do, days, and the results are just just what they are. You know, to me they're unrealistic. So uh, your mouths may and of course will vary depending on your usage. So. I'm trying to uh, see just just what we can get from this and, and, and whatever results come about, you know, I hope you all enjoy and appreciate them. So the first thing we're going to do is what all of you should do, no matter what cooler you're using, you should pre-chill your cooler. I've been pre-chilling both of these coolers for about three or four hours now. I'm using ice packs same size ice packs. These are ice packs from a food delivery HelloFresh and I've been 
pre-chilled these coolers down with these and they're cold inside of it. The whole coolers are cold. And we're going to leave these in here. I think personally I like to use uh, I like to use uh, ice packs versus ice a lot of times anyhow just because ice is going to melt. Ice is best for meats and fish though. But any other situation you probably want to use an ice pack. <sighs> this is a 30 quart cooler. This is a 35 quart cooler. Um, we're not going to put the same amount of ice in there. I'm going to try to be as even as I can but I did buy different uh, bag sizes for a reason. And um, the second being, uh, I'm not going to try to calculate how much volume needs to go into which one and all that type of stuff like that. So what I did was I'm trying to, I'm going to put the ice in based on real world usage. If I'm going to use this, how much ice am I going to allow uh, to take up the space versus the contents I use in my cooler. So pretty much what I come up with is I'm going to use half of the cooler for ice. The, the Stanley is about almost 12 inches deep internally so I'm going to put about 6 inches of ice in here. The Pelican is a little over 11 so we're going to put just a little over uh, 5 and a half inches of ice in here. And that's going to be where we do our test. Okay, So let's go ahead and get started. We'll put some ice in here. We'll put the ice waters in here. This is where we're leaving the ice for the Stanley. There's our bottle. I'm not gonna bury it, just leave it on top. Every single time, I'm just gonna throw it back in there. All right, here is the Pelican. All right, that's it. The last thing we need to do is take these coolers inside and I'm set. All right, gang. <clears throat> this is day six, <clears throat> and uh, we're about out of ice in the Stanley, but there are few, still a few cubes. All right, we have floating ice. Amazon. I mean, it's Hello Fresh bag still, fairly frozen. Got ice like this, plus other ice in the bag. So, and we have a lot of water. Let's check the temperature of the water. <clears throat> so we're getting a reading of 33.6 degrees. 33.6 degrees, day six of the Stanley. <clears throat> so let's check out the Pelican. Now it has a lot of ice too, a lot of water. Let's check it out. definitely have more ice in the pelican but we have a lot of water too so let's check out its temperature 33.1 degrees wow that's the coldest temp we've seen so far we have a lot of ice and water and let me show you that can't really see so I'm gonna stick my hand in here again the Hello Fresh bag is still frozen and we have a big piece of ice on top and bottom of it. Uh, hey gang, Jamie Aston. So we're at day seven and uh, I'm not expecting any ice to be left over just by the conditions of day six. And uh, sure enough, there is no ice, even the ice pack is now unfrozen. So let's check the temperature out of the water. 40, no, 40.5 degrees. 
40.5 degrees. So Stanley Cooler says it will keep contents cold for four days. We got a maximum of six days with ice. All right. The Pelican still has ice. The Amazon Fresh Pack is still has a solid core. We still have chunks of ice. They have chunks of ice in the Pelican. All right. So let's check the temperature on the Pelican. 34.0. So right now there's a six degree difference between the two. Six degrees. Uh, but day seven. All right, we'll continue on and uh, see what the results are. Take care. Hey gang, Jamie Aston, and it's day eight of my uh, skew cooler test. Um, as I said, there's so many ways that you can test the, the uh, usage of a cooler, but the problem is, is that testing it without actually being in the wild and using it. Um, for your real purposes or, or just your results may vary you know so now inside my home I've had varied temperatures from 69 to about 80 so this is day 8 on the uh, Pelican and we have no ice no ice even this Hello Fresh bag is uh, just water. It's, it's no ice. Nothing solid. But it's still cold. So let's see what our temperature is. Hmm. We were at 42 degrees. We're done. I didn't get my 10 days out of this cooler. But... I'm going to say that I didn't get the 10 days, maybe because it wasn't packed as full as it needed to be to take up that airspace, uh, things like that. For my test, I didn't get it. As far as Stanley, I got six days with ice. So the Pelican got seven days ice. Seven days ice. I got a full week. That Stanley got six days ice. Ugh. Now, Pelican's brochure says this is an extreme cooler, and it is an extreme cooler. Don't get me wrong by any means. I just didn't get 10 days. It says up to 10 days. It didn't say you're going to get 10 days. It says up to 10 days. And up to 10 days meaning that, you know, depending on how you pack them, the conditions, and how you use it, and things like that. In extreme cases where you're going to make sure that you're going to, to get that, that, that 10 days that uh, 10 day or more you know you get it um, Stanley says it keeps things cool for up to four days they didn't say how long it kept the ice they just said it kept things cool for up to four days and we had ice for six days on day number seven we measured it uh, uh, 40 degrees <clears throat> day number eight is 50 degrees um, this cooler the Pelican it's been cold all the way up to day number seven. We had ice. Um, I didn't check it last night, um, which was day number seven for a second te test or anything, but it had ice. But overnight, I guess, you know, we just wake up to there is no ice, and now we're up to 40 degrees, um, which is kind of interesting for it to be at 40. I mean, I, these last couple of nights, I have been misusing and abusing my energy bill, and it's going to hurt my pocket. I've, tried to blast everything up to 80 degrees and it's been staying on there and I've been going to sleep and things like that so I mean let me just say that's those are summertime conditions and I tried to do that just for this test you all appreciate that I'm wasting my energy <laughs> just playing anywho again I think my results are kind of coming back to you if you really need an extreme cooler for the abuse uh, and the conditions that you're going to really be putting that cooler in, I say you need to get an extreme cooler. Otherwise, maybe you can look at not paying as much for an extreme cooler and getting something a little light, lighter, and um, 
almost as durable, but you know that was service purpose as far as the time frame. And um, I mean, I'm I'm actually quite surprised with this Stanley getting six days. I love how light it is. You know, like I said, it will never take the abuse of this Pelican. <laughs> When the conditions are right, and I still think this one will hit its 10-day mark, honestly. Um, the Pelican, I still think it'll hit the 10-day. And I would still want to use it just for, for plain ice storage, in a sense. So I can put the, take the ice from this one and, and put it in it. Or this would be the cooler that I'm not using as much or something, just because. But, um, you know, wow, this is interesting. So... That's how we're going to conclude it. You know, you come up with your own results. I'm not going to say something's better than not because I, I'm personally happy to have both of them. But I will say this. Stay tuned for another cooler ice test. You all take care. Jamie Aston.